So I recently did a video on Parrot OS, and a lot of you in the comment section had questions about how to install this on the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Now, before you get started, you'll need some sort of virtualization software. And I strongly recommend VMware Workstation Pro since it is now free, as long as you're using it for educational and testing purposes. And the reason why I recommend VMware Workstation Pro over VirtualBox is because VirtualBox has a tendency to be very buggy, laggy, and I find that their drag and drop functionality doesn't work 100% of the time. So I'll leave a link to this Broadcom article in the description so that you can read the steps for getting VMware Workstation Pro installed on your PC. Once your virtualization software is installed, you'll want to head over to parrotsec.org and go ahead and click on download. From there, you'll choose the virtual category since we're going to be using a virtual machine. And after that, you'll be prompted for the addition to select. And the addition that I want to select is security since I want to use this for pen testing. After that, I'll select the AMD64 architecture since I'm running this on a 64-bit Windows operating system. Now that I've made my selections, I'll go ahead and hit download. Of course, I'll select VMware products and wait for my download to complete. Now that Parrot OS is downloaded, the next thing I'll do is open up Workstation Pro and select Create a New Virtual Machine. From here, I'll select the Custom Advanced option and click on Next. I'll keep the defaults and click on next again. And right here, you want to make sure that you select, I will install the operating system later and go ahead and click on next. Now on this menu where we got to select a guest operating system, I'll go ahead and select Linux, then switch to version to Debian 12 x64 bit. On this menu, I'm just editing the location on where I want to save my VM. And then I'll go ahead and name it Parrot OS. By the way, you can name it whatever you want. I'll keep the default processor configuration but I'm going to up the memory for this virtual machine to four gigabytes. I'll leave the default for the network type, click on next. Same thing goes for the default IO controller, as well as the disk type. Now, when I get to the select the disk menu, I'll want to use an existing virtual disk. Click on next. And this is where we'll have to browse to the Explorer and select the Parrot OS file that we just downloaded. And there it is, the .vmdk file. All right, everything looks good. I'll hit finish. Now, before you start this, you'll need to edit the virtual machine settings. So come over here and click on edit. Then navigate to options and select advanced. Now, right here where it says firmware type, you need to change this from BIOS to UEFI. Select that and hit OK. Now, in the moment of truth, let's go ahead and power on this virtual machine. If you get this pop up, just hit yes. And there you go. I'll just go ahead and select the first option and that will boot me straight into Parrot OS. Now, if this video has helped you, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that I can continue bringing you additional pieces of content like this.